Hello and welcome to Rathod's IES. Today in this session, we are going to see current affairs of 6th April 2024. So there are very less number of articles in our today's Hindu newspaper. So you are not going to spend like 45 to 1 hour time here okay, in this news analysis. And I will be completing this news analysis within 30 to 35 minutes. That's it. Because today is Saturday, there is no opinion page and there is no text and context even. So there are very less number of articles which are relevant from our examination point of view. And let's get started. So this is front page of your Hindu and here I am taking Delhi edition. So whichever you, edition you are having, take that edition. No problem with any edition. So there is one article which is relevant from our examination point of view. That is RBI keeps repo rate on hold as food prices remains high. So here what is the keyword? Keyword is repo rate. And you have to see RBI. What is the role of RBI? And one more important thing which is given here is food prices is high. So now let us see the dimensions. And here we are going to connect one topic with different subjects. And even we are going to see like different dimensions point of view as well. So here there are three keywords. So first one is RBI. So what is this RBI? It is Central Bank of India. It is none other than that. This Reserve Bank of India. And this article is talking about repo rate. And next, food prices. These are the three keywords which are given and let me explain you like which are the dimensions that you have to see. So from RBI point of view, you have to see which act led to the formation of this RBI along with year. And next year you have to see like who are the chairperson. And you have to see like what are the functions of RBI. So these are the things that you have to remember from RBI. And from repo rate. So repo rate is one of the example of interest rate. Okay. It is one of the example of interest rate. And here what is this repo rate? What is this repo rate? So actually we have RBI and we have other banks. So we have RBI and we have banks. So whenever this RBI which is lending money, so which is lending money to banks, so banks they have to pay interest rate. So this interest rate is called as repo rate. And the next important concept here is, so RBI will also get money, okay, from the banks. So on this money, RBI will also pay interest rates to banks. So this interest rate which is paid by RBI to banks, it is called as reverse repo rate. So what is it called? It is called as reverse repo rate. And one important fact that you have to see is always repo rate is more compared to that of this reverse repo rate. So compared to this reverse repo rate, repo rate is always more than. So at present what is a repo rate? It is 6.5 percentage. Okay. And here RBI plays a very important role in managing inflation. Okay. So that role of this RBI will be done by monetary policy committee. And that policy is called as monetary policy. So what RBI will do under this monetary policy? Under this monetary policy, RBI manages interest rate okay it manage interest rate 
So under this interest rate concept, we will be studying about repo rate, reverse repo rate, okay, and MSF, etc. And here if you see what is this inflation? So inflation is a concept like whenever there is increasing of prices of goods and services in the market. Okay. So whenever there is increase in the price of goods and service in market, we are calling that condition as inflation. So from here, you have to see different types of inflation and you have to see like causes of inflation and what is the outcome of inflation. So all these are some dimensions that you have to see from inflation. So one important reason for the inflation here is rising of food prices. Okay, for example, rising of vegetable prices or rise of oil prices, etc. So these are the one important reason for the increasing of food prices. And this food prices is one of the important component that is leading to this inflation in the market. So these all are the dimensions that you have to see. And this topic is important from GS paper 3 under economy. Here you can expect both prelims and mains based question. Okay, prelims, inflation topic is very important from prelims. Okay, so all these concepts that you have to see from this article point of view. And now let us see the notes for this topic. Okay, as I said there are very less number of topics and we are going to complete this analysis as soon as possible because I don't want to waste your time by discussing unnecessary articles okay i never and never want to waste your time okay and one more thing i want to say is here you have to know why it is in news that is the context if you see the context it says that there is spike in the food prices okay there is spike in the food prices has kept Reserve Bank of India, that is RBI, worried even though overall inflation has moderated to a certain extent. So, there is overall inflation which is like a moderate level. So, even though here RBI is worried about like increasing of food price and this is summer season, so winter into the summer season and because of increasing of food prices that will be affecting overall health of the people. Okay. And next, if you see the details, so what it is saying like, the spike in the food prices has kept RBI worried even though overall inflation has moderated to certain extent. So in this context, here Central Bank's Monetary Policy Committee, that is Central Bank's MPC, Monetary Policy Committee, and this committee we decided to keep the policy repo rate under LAF unchanged. So they are going to keep unchanged. That is LAF which is unchanged at 6.5%. So this LAF it is one of the interest rate which comes under monetary policy of RBI. And actually this is the seventh time here that the rates have been kept on hold. So now let us see what is this monetary policy committee. So here Reserve Bank of India Act. That is 1934. That means even before we got independence, so we had passed this Reserve Bank of India Act of 1934. So, which has been amended by Finance Act of 2016 to provide for a statutory and institutionalized framework for MPC, that is Monetary Policy Committee. And under which section? Under section 45ZB of amended RBI Act of 1934, central government is empowered to constitute a six member MPC. So, how many members are there in this monetary policy committee? That is around six members. So, six members are there under this. Six members are there under this RBI, RBI's monetary policy, okay, monetary policy committee. So, we are talking about the functions. If you are talking about the functions, so the first one is MPC, Monetary Policy Committee is entrusted with a task. So what is that task? So it is a task of fixing the benchmark policy rate required to contain inflation within sub specified target level. 
so actually here monetary policy which is having one important task so what is the task of uh, monetary policy it is to fix the benchmark policy rate that is it is to fix this repo rate so that here we can control inflation so we are talking about the composition of this monetary policy committee so mpc monetary policy committee will have like six members so who are those six members so we have rbis okay governor governor will be acting as chairman and next one is rbis deputy governor and also we have in charge of monetary policy he will be acting as in charge of monetary policy and next one is one official nominated by rbi board so we will be having an official who will be monitoring this rbi board and remaining three members would represent the government of india and we are also having like external members they can also hold office and the tenure here is for four years and if you are talking about why this repo rate had been kept unchanged now so we are talking about the reasons for this repo rate which kept unchanged so first one is inflation inflation is still above the target so inflation the market it is still about the uh, about the target from past 6 months of time okay so here rbi's target is of 4% but it is high and as one is food price is uncertainty there is increase and decreasing of food price are happening in the market there is no certainty there is high uncertainty is seen so rbi is concerned about potential future increasing of food prices so that it could push inflation back up as war in ukraine so because of this war in ukraine russia ukraine war still it is going on and even the new thing which is added that is israel palestine issue so because of this event to happening across the world yes it is also affecting this global food market and even edible oil prices so this is one important another reason for this increasing of food prices and next one is supporting economic growth so indian economy is growing at a healthy rate of 7.6 percentage which had been estimated for financial year 2024 and rbi wants to maintain this momentum by keeping interest rate stable and next one is global economic slowdown is happening okay so rbi is very much cautious about the slowing of global trade outlook with that could having an impact on indian economy because in this globalized world so one country is dependent on another country so because of this yes if there is any uh, outfall or downfall is happening in in one country it is having impact on another country and now we are seeing like global economic slowdown and because of this global economic slowdown it will be having impact on the indian economy and persistent inflation in developed economies is also one cause of concern because whenever the prices are increasing in this developed countries that could put upward pressure on this global prices and this one is monetary transmission so rbi wants to ensure that whenever there are changes in this repo rate so that are effectively reflected in the rent lending rates by the banks so because of this all these reasons so there is a put on hold clear and now let us see the next article so in front page we have only one article which is relevant and you can move on to the city page and in the city page also i found nothing much important so most of the articles are political articles they fetch you nothing okay don't succumb in these articles okay and in the states page also i found nothing much important you can simply move on to editorial page you can directly move on to editorial page so in this editorial page also here you can see like dynamics how the political parties are changing the trends and even here you can see like important motions so in this trends of parliamentary interventions so lok sabha has seen the decrease in filling of calling attention motions and in rajya sabha there is decreased filling of parliamentary interventions so here you have to see what are these half an hour discussions what is the short notice questions and what is this calling attentions okay so you have to see these three motions that you have to 
uh, revise them so that there is a high chance of getting question regarding this in your UPSC prelims. Yeah, now let us move on and this is entirely political article do not go through this. And these two articles they are related to Israel Palestine issue and already we discussed this topics in our earlier lectures but now I want to discuss one important dimension that is India Israel okay relations and here how India's uh, negotiations are going on and here we have to see like exactly how India's policy in this Israel is changing on okay from October 2023 20, onwards so this is an important area and why what are the reasons behind uh, these changes so that is also very important so till now we didn't have discussion on that area so let us have the discussion so before that I will uh, tell you like the dimensions so here you have to see what is this Israel Palestine issue. So in our earlier classes we discussed about what are the three objectives of what are the three objectives of this Israel. Why this Israel started attacking this Palestine. So first one is to crack down the Palestines and to kill Hamas and next one is Next one is to release the hostages. So these are the three aims. Out of these three aims, so most of them had been achieved. But still war is going on. So here you have to see like international relations like. So how other countries are responding. For example, Iran, US, UK and as well as uh, Yemen. And what is this Pakistan's state and next one is what is India okay so that thing that you have to see and you have to see like operation sankalp so operation sankalp is also related to this it is the operation of Indian Navy to protect the ships in this Indian Ocean region and you have to see how it is so how it is here from Yemen but they are attacking ships and merchant vessels and this issue we can connect with piracy okay and next an important thing here is what is this united nations security council resolution and what is its impact and even you can think about how international pressure is increasing how international pressure it is increasing on Israel and what is the response of Israel and recently what happened in this United Nations Security Council resolution which had been passed so here US abstained from voting. So because of this step of US, it strained relations between US and Israel. So all these are some important things that you have to see from this Israel-Palestine issue. And here for sure you have to see map of Israel. So there's a high chance of getting question regarding this Israel. And actually one more important fact that I want to say is what is this blue line there is a chance of getting question regarding this blue line so between which and which countries we have this blue line so this blue line it is regarding Israel and please let me know which is other country where this blue line is present okay between India and uh, sorry Israel and which country and this topic is important from GS paper to under international nations and GS paper 1 under geography okay now let us see this topic in detail so after October 7 2023 Hamas attack India's stance appeared to shift and we are showing solidarity towards Israel 
and India's voting in United Nations still supported Palestinian rights and opposed Israeli settlements. So before this 2023 Hamas attack, yes, we used to support Israel, but now there is a change of stance that is seen. Okay, so India is having like a balancing of historical support for Palestinian, and on the other side, we are also having like good Israeli relations as well. Okay, and if you are talking about why is uh, India is supporting this palace and what are the important reasons. So this part is very important for your mains and you can get directly mains question from this area. So the first one is moral and historical commitment. So India's historical stance against the partition of Palestine and to support Palestinian state which reflects we are committed to anti-colonial and anti-imperial principles. Yes, Israel is trying to occupy this Palestine, right? So we are against that. That means like we are having a commitment of anti-colonial and as well as anti-imperial principles. Okay, so we are having anti-imperial and as well as anti-colonial principles. And apart from this, we are also focusing on humanitarian concerns. Like because of this, it still started attack in this Gaza Strip, etc. So there were about more than 30,000 deaths they happened. Okay, so there are more than... 30,000 deaths and also displacing nearly 90 percentage of Gaza population. So because of this, it is mainly showing that there is a lots and lots of humanitarian crisis that is going on. And even people, they are at the verge of hunger. So here Israeli, uh, Israel which is attacking this uh, Gaza Strip by stopping the essential things to enter into this region so that people, they will be starving to death. And this one is India is supporting for Palestinian which reflects concern for human rights and civilian lives. And this one is we are also aligned towards this global south. So India aims to be the leader of global south where there is a strong opposition to Israeli's action. And countries like South Africa, Brazil, they take in some significant stances against Israel. So which are inspiring India to take similar leadership and India cannot ignore these things to happening. And this one needs to balance international diplomacy. So India's criticism of Israel is voiced by a fights minister. So which is showing like we are taking some efforts to balance diplomatic relations and to maintain like principal stances and we have to engage in various global players. And apart from this, in this strategic interest also we are focusing. So here especially these conflicts between this Israel and Palestine which will be having concerns regarding this India's strategic interest in this region. Because especially we are moving forward with this IMEC that is Middle India, Middle East, Europe, Economic Corridor and as well as especially to maintain stability in this West Asia so we have to stop this. And this one needs to prevent regional, uh, so regional escalations. So because of this ongoing conflict between this Israel and the Palestine, it is also having the risk of border regional instability. And especially in these regions like Iran, Israel and America, so they are having instability. And these all are the key partners for India. So especially we need to have a peaceful resolution between this Israel and Palestine so we can maintain this religious stability or regional stability. And next one is act west policy. So an immediate end to the war and if you want to come up with a permanent resolution to this Palestine question, it is one of the important and integral part of our India's act west policy. So it is also highlighting its commitment to peace and stability in this West Asian region. So these are some important things which are mainly uh, related to this article from why India changed its stance towards this Israel-Palestine issue. And now let us move on to our Hindu page. So no need of going through this ground zero. And next page is news page and most of the articles are political articles. So here you can see one small article. 
that is respond to fcra plea by ngo court tell center so what is the keyword here keyword here is fcra foreign contribution regulation act that is very important there is a high chance of getting question regarding this fcra in your upcoming prelims you have to know about that topic for sure so now let us see this topic in detail so this topic is important from your gs paper 200 polity and governance point of view so now let us see why it is in news recently delhi government asked center to respond to petition so this petition is by ngo environic trust Enviro, Enviro, uh, NGO Environics Trust, which, which mainly filed a petition in Delhi High Court regarding cancellation of its registration under this Foreign Contribution Regulation Act. So, because of this, this is in news, I have to see just what is this FCRA. Nothing more, nothing less. So, FCRA was enacted in year 1976. So, in 1976, we used to have like emergency period. So during this emergency period, so we have a lot of concerns like so foreigners are involving involving in the politics of India. Okay, so there are concerns about foreign interference in India's efforts through financial support to independent organizations. And FCRA has designed to regulate foreign donations to individuals and associations, ensuring that they operate in a manner. So these matters which is in consistence with the values of sovereign democratic republic. And if you are talking about validity of this uh, registration of this FCRA. So FCRA registration is valid for 5 years. And NGOs they are required to apply for renewal within 6 months of registration expiry. And within 6 months they have to go for renewal. And the government has the authority to cancel even NGO's FRS registration for reasons. Whenever there is any violation of any provisions of the act or whenever there is lack of reasonable activity in their chosen field for two consecutive years and once if the registration is cancelled under this FCRA, so that NGO is not eligible for re-registration for, for three years. For three years, there is no registration for that NGO. So this is one cause of concern. And let us move on to page. So I'll leave this elections 2024 page. And here you can see about this Raki Grahi findings in NCRT books, Narmada Dam reference drop. So actually this Raki Grahi is one of the Indus Valley site. So here there's a chance of getting questions regarding this findings of Raki Grahi. So please let me know some facts that you know about this Raki Grahi like in which state they are located and what are the important fields of this Raki Grahi in the comment box. Don't forget. And if you move on to this business page here you can see one small article. So we're just talking about ITC Infotech platform aims to boost income of 10 million farmers. So actually here ITC Infotech, it is the in, uh, tech arm of ITC groups and actually this group is targeting these farmers and to enhance the income of these farmers of at least 10 million farmers who are part of more than 4000 farmer producer organization and the target year is 2030. Okay, so this is the thing we have to see. So here I want to give you dimensions. So please make a note. So this article is important from this topic called as farmers issue. So our present government of India's aim is to double farmers income. So government of India's aim is to double farmers income. And the target is 2022 but had been delayed. Okay, keep it aside and here you have to see like what are the problems what are the problems which are faced by these farmers and apart from that problems you have to see what are the solutions for those problems 
and you have to see like what are the schemes came up by the government regarding this issues of problems for example government gave it pm kisan and pradhan mantri sampada yojana and government is focusing on food processing industries and fasal bhima yojana to provide insurance for the crops so like that you have to see which are the schemes which are providing support to the farmers okay and you have to give way forward so still what can be the steps taken by government to improve the conditions of these farmers and you can also add one more idea that is suicides of farmers is increasing day by day so here you have to see like problems of farmers and what are the steps can be taken by the government so these are the very important topics from gs paper 3 under economy and even from gs paper 2 under society also we can connect this topic and not only present days but even if you go to our modern history times so in this modern history times you will be studying about peasant revolts present revolts so one important one is mopla rebellion okay so you have to see even this area as well and these are the some important dimensions that you can see and now let us move on to world page here you can see one article that is stop selling or shipping arms to israel united nations human rights council that is unhrc tells nation so here you have to see some dimensions like unhrc and this unhrc is very important from your prelims and you can get direct statements from this united nations human rights council for sure clear and now let us see this article in detail so if you see why it is in news united nations top human rights body okay it is united nations top human rights body which called on countries to stop selling or shipping weapons to israel because we want to come with a resolution okay resolution already passed united nations security council to stop israel attacking this palestine especially in this ramadan season and in the resolution which passed on friday which aims to help to prevent rights violations against palestinians amid israeli blistering military campaign in gaza okay so actually united nations security council also passed this resolution and now united nation human rights council is saying that countries which are providing support to israel they have to stop selling and they have to stop shipping arms to israel and it is non binding the resolution is to raise international pressure on israel so that there will be stall in the actions okay so western countries they are having like divided opinions for example us and germany they opposed resolution and france and japan they abstained and belgium finland and luxembourg they voted in favor so from european countries and western countries they are having like diverse opinions and now let us see some facts regarding this united nations human rights council so it is an intergovernmental body so it is an intergovernmental body with the united nation system which is responsible for strengthening and promotion and protection of human rights you are focusing on strengthening promoting and access protection of human rights across the world and what is the mandate mandate is to promote universal respect for the protection of all human rights and fundamental freedoms for all and to address situations of violations of human rights like gross and systematic violations and even to make some recommendations based on that so this is the one important function of united nations human rights council and establishment was founded in 2006 actually this body which replaced united nation commission on human rights and if you see the functions so it investigates it investigates allegations of breaches of human rights in united nation member states okay it is investigating about allegations of breaches of human rights and even it addresses important human rights issues for example freedom of expression 
and women's rights and lgbt rights and rights of racial ethnic minorities and this one is unhrc also works very close to the high commission of human rights so these are the very important facts regarding this united nations human rights council and one thing i want to say is we in rathod science we started our offline branch at ashok nagar in hyderabad so we also going to come up with our offline batch from july okay july second week and uh, admit uh, admissions are going on and only few seats are left so if you want to take offline coaching in rathod science please do take admission for sure and one more thing is we are also providing online coaching also so if you want to get online coaching or offline coaching yes if you want to contact us you can call me on this number 8074765513 and even this is whatsapp number you can text me on whatsapp also that's all for today i hope you enjoyed this lecture and there are nothing much to explain in today's newspaper and i don't want to waste your time by discussing other irrelevant articles because time is very precious we can't bring back the time and here in this rathod's is classes telegram channel you can get the notes and you can simply download the notes of this class okay and this is our website rathod's is academy website and students is very much near if you are facing problem with any single subject or like group of subjects you can take subject wise modules here so you can watch the demo videos after watching demo videos only you can take the course and next this is our rathod's is academy youtube channel so here please do subscribe to our channel so we are trying to post much more interesting and relevant videos of upsc and here if you see in this playlist we started this target prelims 2024 and as well as upsc previous well questions analysis from 2011 to 2023 so watch two series for sure so that there will be high chance of clearing your prelims okay so that's all for today and if you really like this class please do hit the like button and don't forget to share this video and also subscribe to rathod's is academy And thank you so much for watching.